Okay. As we said on the last video, we're going to have to make an adjustment here because our we don't have enough room for a door in that back uh, bedroom back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the bathroom just a little bit smaller. And we still want to have a little bit of space between the wall and where the door is going to close here. So we're going to have some space to put the trim. The trim is usually about two and a half inches wide uh, to three inches. So um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to offset that whole wall. And I'm going to do it with this one because I'm going to keep the utility area just like it is right now. I'm just going to kind of recess the bathroom back into the wall here. So specify a distance. I really don't want to specify one. I'm just going to click enter. And I'm going to do this by feel here. I'm going to click on the line that I want to move. Oh wait, I'm doing an offset. I want to do a move actually. So select the object, specify a base point. Okay, so I'm going to move it up here to about right there. That should give me plenty of space after I put the other wall here. And in order to put the other wall, I'm going to make things easy on myself and just do it the quick way. And I'm going to offset the wall that I just replaced. I'm going to offset it four inches, which is the thickness of the wall. Okay, so I'm offset four inches in that way. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to stretch this right here back out to here. And now I can do some trimming, or actually that's my mark for the door. Okay, so the bathroom door, same thing with uh, width. Um, sometimes it'll go a little bit smaller on a bathroom door. We're going to try to get a 30 inch door in there. So we are going to do an offset again. Now we have to change the measurement to 30 inches. Enter, click, offset in there. There we go. Um, so we're, we're looking good there. And we got plenty of space for this door to make right over here. Let's go ahead and start cleaning some things up before we get confused. And I clicked on the trim button, click the enter button, and we get rid of that, that, that and let's see keeping that okay now I'm gonna set the rest of these this one here still needs to be set for 30 inches so we're gonna do an offset uh, 30 inches was the last one that I used so I'm gonna click to accept that click on the wall and there we go 30 inches all right now I'm gonna move do some moving around here I'm gonna select this object this object and these two objects enter find me a good base point and I'm just going to move them out a little bit to the side that will mark my door opening okay now I'm going to do some more trimming to clean things up so trim click enter to accept all points and you can do this. You can kind of click and drag to make some of your selecting easier. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to left click on the mouse and then release. So left click, release, and then I'm going to drag across those two lines. And there they go. Uh, again, left click, release, drag across those lines, and there we go. Uh, same here. Left click, release, drag, go. Here, left click release drag and go left click release drag and go and then of course these smaller ones we need to kind of do those by hand okay and we have some little pieces right here we can fix for some reason it doesn't want me to do that let me try it again trim enter okay something is not connecting there if i zoom in a little closer i could probably see yes See my walls aren't, uh, wall isn't connecting there quite like it should. So I'm going to click on here, click there, and extend that until I touch. Okay. Anytime you get like that, when you hit a trim tool or any kind of tool that doesn't seem to work like right, uh, attempt to look to make sure all your geometry is touching. Uh, closed loop geometry is what we call that. Okay, so there we are. We have some more door spaces. Now we need doors. 
Okay, so I am going to make a bedroom door. And I'm going to use a rectangle. And remember, they are 30 inches. I want the door to start at this corner. Click, drag out this way. Now here, when you enter the dimensions of the door, you really got to consider because you're going in the opposite direction. You're not going in the positive direction. You're going in the negative direction. So my door, which is 30 inches wide, is actually going to, I'm going to type that as negative three zero inches. And then I'm going to tab and I'm actually going in the negative direction for that as well because I'm going down. Okay, and that door width, the inside doors, I don't remember if I said this or not, but we're going to make them an inch and three quarters. You don't need that thick of a door on the inside. They're just usually really light, hollow doors. So we're going to make this one an inch dash three slash four and then the inch apostrophes. Okay, now remember that um well i forgot what i was going to say let me click enter here we go the door didn't quite end up where i wanted it to be i think i forgot to click a negative before my width but we can fix that with no problem click on move click on the door enter go down here and select this as a base point move it right there now here's what i can do as well to make my job a little easier so i can just copy that door over here uh, select copy, select the object, click enter, move it up. You got to find a base point. Now, because of the way this door is going to fit over there, I'm going to choose the opposite corner to set as my base point. I'm going to go up here and there we go. Okay. So I don't have to make that door twice. Okay. Uh, now the, um, arc for the door swing is a little different. I could copy the door, the whole door with the swing and everything, copy it over here, but then I'd have to do some rotating and some flipping and things like that to get everything to match. To me, it's just easier, simpler just to go ahead and do this and just go ahead and make two door swings. So uh, start, end, and let's see which way is my arc going to go. All right, let's redo that. Okay, and we'll make this our start point. And this our end point. Now our arc goes in the right direction. Okay, make it concentric. All right, now another one more arc. I think this, if we start here, I think it'll go in the right direction. I always forget which direction it's gonna go. Here we go. And that will make us concentric there. All right, and then we need one more door, and I think uh, we did a 30 inch there as well. So here we do another copy, copy this door, enter, select a base point. I want this door to open in that way. So I'm going to select that as my base point and attach it right there. Now I'm going to hit rotate. I don't think I attached it quite where I needed to, but anyway. Click on rotate, uh, and then click on the object, and then select enter. Now I'm looking for a base point. So there's my base point in open door. And if I get close, I can see where it's a little bit off. So I'm going to move it again. Base point, get right on that corner. It doesn't want to work. Let me try that one more time. Move, select object, enter, now select base point. If I pick the corner, it should work. That way I can just latch them on to their corners there. Mm -hmm. All right, now one more door swing. And we'll have our doors. And let's see, I think if I start here and here, oops, backwards. Okay, start up here and end down here, frontwards. Okay, make me good concentric. And there we go. We have a small cabin with all their bedroom doors and the outside door. Um, next, we're going to build this folding door on the utility area here. And that again will be on the next video. Okay, so so long for now, and I will see you on the next video.